Before I get into the video, I need to say here a very special thank you to Middle Tennessee for completely fucking over my bracket today. And on that note, guys, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the video of the Roshan Corruption. And today I've got another episode of my Oblivion mini LP for you guys. And in this episode, I actually wanted to do a couple of side quests here. Uh, the side quests I want to do are called A Liquid Solution and The Coming Storm. Let's go and actually check that out in our quest log. Um, I actually already started uh, A Liquid Solution, so. Um, yeah, right here. Um, we need to get some sort of cure for Sickly Bernice, who I believe is in this, uh, tavern right here. Um, so let's go ahead and travel to the place we need to go to on the map. Which I don't think we've actually discovered yet, um, but we, we can go to a place nearby and then go right there. Yeah, we need to go right here, so let's go ahead and go to Zazlum. Zazlum? How do you pronounce that? That, that's definitely a tongue twist. That's a really weird name to pronounce. Uh, but yeah, Zazlum. The X-Town? I don't know. There are multiple X-Towns in Shivering Isles, though, because you have Zedillion, too. Which is slightly easier to pronounce, but it's still hard to pronounce. Um, oh, and one more thing I should say is I went and I actually bought, got some new gear for my... Whoa, we got a skeleton here. I just take it out. Um, I need to start using my shield more. Whoa, it's, it's just slew, man. Oh, two skeletons. Okay. I'm not doing very much damage. This war axe sucks. The only reason why I'm using it is because using the Dawnbreaker over and over again kind of got old. So I just kind of want to mix things up, you know? I realize that this weapon is nowhere near as good as the Dawnbreaker. The Dawnbreaker is amazing, uh, but I just want to mix things up. And also, I got my hands on a... Let me show this off here. Um, a Shocking Touch spell. Um, and I also I also got a spell called Snow Flare, which is unfortunately the same animation as Normal Flare, but it also does uh, frost damage to the targets. I suppose that would be easier. Searching for good spells for my character to use was very difficult because my character is such a low level and has, like, pathetic destruction skill right now that there weren't really any good spells uh, my character could learn, so it was kind of a hassle. Uh, I guess I just need to level up this character more. Like I said in the last episode, I literally just started this character. And my Xbox is going crazy right now. My Xbox can honestly barely handle this game. Case in point, almost froze up there. It actually overheated earlier while I was searching for stuff. So I hope that doesn't happen again. That would be bad. And I'm very tempted to just switch to the Ton Breaker right now because <laughs> this War Axe is kind of crappy. It's some Silver War Axe that I store from like, store from like some Blackwater company or something like that. Um, uh, in I forget the town it was in. Um, but yeah, I just stole this Silver War Axe from some random place. Oh, whoa. Young Balawag. Die, Balawag. Are we getting any closer? I'm in midair right now. Oh, we're about halfway there, actually. I must say, the, the walks on the map look a lot longer than they actually are. They always end up taking less time than you think, and I am stuck. I am- oh my gosh, I'm actually stuck. Are you for real right now? I'm stuck! I'm actually stuck. Oh my god. This is the dumbest thing ever. I, I actually cannot get out. I cannot get out right now. Should I just... I guess I'm just going to fast travel somewhere. Oh my gosh, man. What happens if I crouch? Oh, there we go. My gosh, dude. <laughs> that was the weirdest. I was about to fast travel somewhere and then go all the way back. Thank God. Jeez, man. I've gotten stuck before, but usually I'm able to get out of it like, like I was there, so... All right, hopefully we'll get there soon. I don't think either of these side quests that I want to do are very long, so hopefully we can do, I think we can do like maybe one and a half in this episode. I doubt we can finish both of them, um, unless I make it a really long episode, which I could do. Uh, although I personally don't like making my videos over like 25 minutes. I feel like it's a bit much to go over that because I personally don't have the attention span. I know about you guys, maybe some of you out there may, may want to see longer videos. And if that's the case, then feel free to let me know. Um, let's say we got some, we got a hunger here. Alright, die, Star Hunter. Uh, let me actually go ahead and try that shock spell. Even though it's probably not the best thing in the world. Where did it go? Did it die? I think I might have gotten it. Yeah, I did get it. Okay, nice. I think I did. You know, I'm personally a huge fan of the scenery, even in Dementia. And we got an enemy to deal with here. Gremit Whelp. I should probably use my shield. Okay, I'm not doing a very good job using my shield, I know. I feel like in general, like, like I'm just not very good at using shields. And I just like hacking away at people, so... <laughs> Let's gonna pick those up. We'll take that too. Uh, let me actually go ahead and equip the Dawnbreaker here. Take that out. Or Dawn Fang. Did I call it Dawnbreaker? Dawnbreaker is a weapon from Skyrim. Dawn Fang is a weapon from Oblivion. My bad. Um, this weapon is so much better, man. It's so good. Jeez. This weapon is so good. All right, I think we need to enter right here. Yeah, let's go ahead and go in. Um, this is actually my first time doing this quest, by the way. I looked at some stuff on IGN, on IGN walkthroughs, so I do know some stuff about it. Um, this is my first time doing this side quest. So, it'll be new for me, too. I guess. Well, it might not necessarily be new for you guys, but anyways. 
Uh, oh my, see, th this dungeon looks exactly the freaking same as Dunroot Burrow, which is not very good. Um, let me go ahead and equip uh, Snow Flare, and then we we'll use Snow Flare. Like, it just looks exactly the same as Flare, which is kind of kind of crappy, and my aim sucks, holy crap. How do I miss that many times, man? It's so bad. It's so bad. Uh, one second, I'm actually going to up the difficulty here. Alright, I up the difficulty pretty high, so hopefully that makes things a little bit more difficult. I mean, it should- Oh my gosh, that did nothing. Wow, that- What the heck, man? I only upped it a little bit. Okay, all right. I guess I guess the game I guess the game's difficulty increases like more exponentially if that makes sense. Okay. All right, whatever. Uh this place is probably gonna be pretty annoying to go through. At least you don't have to do the uh, deal with the Feldu withdrawal crap, which was really annoying by the way. Uh oh. Switch to Roots Budge. Okay. Go back here. I think we need to go around anyways. Yeah, we probably do. Like, I am I am a big a big fan of this scenery. I think it's very unique and all. But at the same time, like I, I just went through the same dungeon pretty much. Like th this this looks exactly the same as Dunroot Burrow, which is kind of crappy. I mean the colors are slightly different, but for the most part it's the same. I'll take that. Yay! Nothing of use. Great. It looked cool though, which is I suppose nice. Can we shoot you through this? Let's see if we can. No, we can't. That's such crap, man. So it's basically like a wall, I guess, which is kind of crappy, but whatever. It's not the biggest deal in the world. What is this? The heck? Looks crazy. Sorry, I'm getting sidetracked. I have like I don't actually have ADD, but when I play video games, like I develop ADD just for the time when I'm playing video. Whoa! Oh my gosh! I'm also oh for those of you who don't know, I'm so bad at avoiding traps. It's not even funny. I've just given up. I've given up on trying to avoid traps. I just don't. <laughs> the amount of times I died from traps in Skyrim is just ridiculous. Um, okay, we'll take two of those. This is actually not good because <laughs> I'm very low on health. Do I want to put the difficulty back down? We won't do it. We'll keep it up. We'll see. We'll see how well I do with high difficulty. I really wish they had changed up the animation for Snow Flare because it looks exactly the same as Flare, which it shouldn't. I'm um, not crap. That's one disadvantage. This will take a lot more Magicka, which is kind of crappy. Flare ba barely took any Magicka. Okay. Oh shoot, there are a lot of them. They aren't really doing that much to me, though. Okay. And I'm doing a very poor job using my field. My shield, excuse me, not my field. Um, but I suppose it's better than nothing, right? <laughs> I'm, I, I'm a lot better at just dual wielding, like, two swords. Whoa, that guy just flew. Oh, my gosh. I have, like, no health. <laughs> oh, I just noticed. Healing. Okay, okay. We need some restoration. We need some restoration up in this bitch. Where's my restoration? Uh, heal minor roots. There we go. Okay. All right. Even though I have barely any magicka left. We'll take... We'll take all this, I suppose. Can't hurt, although the carry red's gonna be annoying. Oh, I need to equip the right spell here. Snow Flare. Um, I should probably use Shocking Touch at some point, too. I mean, I just don't know if I want to get close with magic, you know? I don't know. I mean... Alright, let's take this thing down. Man, I actually have to focus now, which is kind of crappy. I mean, in the, in the past episode, I was kind of just like, you know, I, I was able to like, oh, whoa, why can I not move? Oh, I'm over encumbered. Crap, okay. Uh, what do I want to drop? Huh. Let me, you know, like, should I just drop this war axe? I'm just going to drop the war axe, like. It's, it's kind of a piece of crap. I don't know why I picked it up in the first place. I mean, I, like I said, I just wanted to mix things up a little, but that didn't really end up happening, I suppose. I will try to mix things up here by using Shocking Touch, though, if I can. Uh, not right now, because I kind of want to conserve my health for now, but, and we're very low on health. Oh, shoot. I don't have any healing items either. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. This is proving to be a lot diff more difficult than I expected. At this rate, there's no way in hell we're going we're gonna to be able to finish two side quests. This is just not happening. Let's go back and sleep. We've barely made any progress so far. Although, in general, the, the side quests in this DLC tend to be really short and really straightforward. So, from what I remember, at least. What? There are no enemies, man! I killed them all! This game is full of crap, dude! Oh, where are... Tell me, game! Where are the enemies? I don't see any enemies! <laughs> no. Uh, there's probably some, like, random enemy off in the distance that's gonna kill me, and I'm gonna be super upset. Dang it, man. Oh, what the? Okay, all right. I guess we're going through. 
Shoot. I don't know if I have enough health. I actually am kind of worried about... No, I was, I was kind of joking earlier, but I'm actually kind of worried that we're going to die like quite a few times here. Uh, okay, we'll snipe you from across. Across the map. Cross map snipe. I suppose when you hit them, the animation's a little bit different. If that makes sense. Oh, whoa, whoa. He's got a flare spell as well. Not the best. Ah, oh, crud. And I don't have enough magicka. That's horrible. I bet this probably isn't the most efficient way of taking down these Grumman Whelps, but whatever. Uh, oh, he got stuck there for a second. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. This guy's going to be tough to take down. Oh, my gosh. F the shield. 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 Ah, ah, I'm sorry. Let me actually see if I have any food to eat. Uh, I'm sorry for the constant spamming of healing items. I just, I don't, I don't really have any other option at this point. Uh, I'm looking the wrong. Oh, wait. We can eat Feldu, huh? Okay, we'll eat Feldu. Uh, because we can actually eat that. With a Chalice of Reversal, we won't get affected uh, by Feldu. We won't have to deal with the uh, with the addiction or anything. Man. I don't actually have anything. That's kind of crappy. Okay. Ooh, please die. No, 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 no. Did I? Oh, I freaking died, man. Oh, wait, wait, wait a second. Did we auto save the second we entered here? If so, then I can just I can just take this thing down right now. No, I have to. It didn't auto save. Gosh darn it! All right, guys. Well, I'll see you back here in a second. Oh my goodness. All right, guys. We're back, and I'm actually using the shocking touch spell quite a bit. And it's working out for me pretty well. So we're gonna go ahead and go ahead and keep that up here. Um, hopefully we can take this guy down without too much trouble. Oh crud. Although that's kind of a bit much to ask, because this guy is a pretty tough enemy at my level. Wow, we're actually destroying him. We're wrecking him. There we go. Wow. Oh my gosh. I did almost die there. Jeez. Oh, whoa. Is another? Or was he just not dead? That was weird. I thought I killed him. I guess I hadn't. Madness or... Uh... I guess we can take that. Alright, interesting. Uh, let's go ahead and open this chest. Uh, we'll take all of that. Oh! Okay. Okay, that's interesting. Uh, we'll take that too. All right, and do we need to jump down here? Like I said, I haven't done this quest before actually, so I'm not 100% sure what to do here. I think we probably just want to continue along here. I would imagine this dungeon isn't going to be too long. I don't think it'll, it'll be nearly as long as Dunroot Burrow. Because Dunroot Burrow was part of the main uh, Shivering, uh, Shivering Isles uh, quest line, so. Oh, here we go. Yeah, here we go, here we go. Okay, sweet. Whoa. Oh, nice. Oh, hello. Oh, shoot. You gotta get in, like, like the prime distance, you know, to be able to shock them. Because if you get in too close, then they can hit you, which kind of defeats the purpose of, you know, trying to shock with, like, a like a semi. This is in range. But, like, you, you, like, you, you can sort of avoid their blows while you shock them. So there's, like, an optimal... Di oh, my God! That scares the crap out of me, dude! What the heck? Oh, I, that's, that actually scared me so badly, man. It's like kind of late at night. I'm like kind of tired. <laughs> so that really scared me. Oh, gosh. Oh, my goodness. All right. Oh, Lord. Let's get some potions in here. That's not cool, man. I hate it when games do that to me. All right. We're going to shock you for that. We're going to shock you a few times. Yeah, this, this spell, like for my level, this spell does quite a bit of damage. Um, It's just like it's kind of awkward to use, you know? Oh, he's got a bow. Maybe I should pick one of those up. That could be useful for range damage. If I'm just like going right to him and just shocking him, it's hilarious. But we definitely have time to do one more thing in this episode. So we're going to go ahead and start that other side quest as well. As soon as we get back and we give... Oh my goodness. Oh lord. Okay, that was bad. <laughs> like I said, horrible at avoiding traps and anything of that nature. I mean, I really need to go back to Sickly Bernice. Uh, and I hope this is an easy way out here. Oh my gosh, I'm an idiot. <laughs> there we go, there it is. Uh, but yeah, the exit should be right up there, I think. And then we'll go ahead and start the Comic Storm, which is also a very in uh, an interesting side quest, I suppose. Once again, though, we have to go through a very repetitive dungeon. That dungeon, I do know, and that dungeon is... It's different from this one, but it's not, not very different from ones we've seen before in Oblivion. So, like all the dungeons in this game, unfortunately. But as I said before, uh, one person from uh, one employee, a single employee, designed all the dungeons in Oblivion. So, I can't blame the guy. I really can't. Alright, let's go ahead and fast travel here. 
Uh, man, you know, I know I've written about this before, but like Xbox controls are just, they're really bad. Uh, like, I mean, at least with Skyrim, when you're playing on Xbox, you can like kind of deal with it. Like, obviously I'd rather be on PC if I'm playing Skyrim, but like you, you, you can, you can deal with it. You know, moving around the map isn't quite as awkward and like, you know, moving around in, in, in the character menu isn't quite as awkward, but like in Oblivion, it's pretty bad. I gotta say. I mean, also my Xbox isn't really handling it that well. Hopefully. All right, uh, it's lagging a lot. Lots of frame rate drop. Um, I cannot wait to to build my new PC uh, and be able to record some some modded uh, some modded uh, Morrowind for you guys over summer. That's gonna be really fun. But yeah, let's go ahead and uh, give give Bernice the cure, and that should complete this quest. Alteration magic is a shield spell that temporarily reduces damage your enemies do to you in combat. So no shit. All right, there you are, Bernice. Um, speaking of magic, one thing I've been meaning to discuss, I'm going to do a video about this eventually. Uh, we'll, we'll, I'll, I'll get to that after we talk to her. Uh, Aqua Nostrum. Oh, yes. It's the miracle remedy for any disease. I was told about this wonderful solution by a recent patron of my establishment. Uh, cure. Let me see. Yes, you feel fixed. Please, accept this as a gesture of thanks. Is the least I can do for you? Not you better give me a lot of money. You, if I, you give me a lot of money, I'm gonna kill you. Money, mula. Money, let's see what I got. Circle of That's not money. We're gonna have to kill her. Have to kill her. Nah, I'm just kidding. Uh, but yeah. So next, let's go ahead and do that. Um, that coming storm quest, which I, I forget exactly where we need to go. Um, let me go. If I look on the map, it'll probably remind me here. Uh, let's go to the local map. Um, let's see. That's not it. Things found. That's where we need to go. Okay, okay. I think it's like right up here, actually. Oh, whoa. A little bit of lag there. Yeah, we need to go right here. All right. Uh, oh, I should probably wait here. Um, ah, shoot. We need to wait a good amount of time. Uh, oh, one thing I should probably talk about is I spent the last few hours editing uh, editing a video. Um, and I only got into like I, 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 it took me two hours to edit like two or three hours even to edit like two minutes of it. Um, this is one of the biggest projects I've ever done on my channel, so that should be coming out on Monday, hopefully, depending on how much work I get done over the weekend. Luckily, like a lot of that editing was me just sort of figuring out things because I'm I'm using a new format. Um, and, and now that I know what to do with that format, oh, there we go. Okay, sometimes it glitches out and it says you can't enter when you actually can. Um, but anyways, now that I sort of know what to do with that format it should be easier to edit but i'm very excited to release that um i'm not going to say anything specific about it though sorry for being so vague here i'm just because i want, want it to be of a surprise time. Perhaps you can help. You might help she is ugly man storm. she's so ugly i'm sorry but she is come in storm coming. i think i'm the only one who sees it though and i'm going to be ready oh yes i'll be ready that is good to hear you're paranoid am i Am I? It's not paranoid when they're really I mean, this place out is called dementia, so I suppose a lot of people probably do have paranoia. Supplies. I'll be if ready. that, that doesn't necessarily correlate. But anyways, <laughs> that's past the point. Uh, supplies. I've been gathering things for quite a while, but there are still a few I'm missing. Perhaps you bring them to me. I can if you're gonna give me a good reward. The amulet of disintegration, the ring of desiccation, and of course, the calming pants <laughs> must have the calming pants, pants, man. Bring these to me, and I will reward you well. Ajazda has many, many things. So the reward for this quest is actually pretty good, if I'm not mistaken, uh, which is why it's worth doing. I believe it's like a really buffed up version of the Frenzy spell. I, frenzy effect? I'm not 100% sure. I don't really remember, to be honest. Um... All right, so what I want to do now is we have we have a couple of things to do. What I want to do is we need to go to a dungeon and recover the, some amulet, I think. Uh, so let's go and head over to that dungeon right now. I don't know if we'll be able to. Uh, can we head over? No, we haven't discovered that yet. Uh, we'll go to Dunroot. Oh, back to Dunroot. Uh, so I don't know if we'll be able to finish that this episode. Although if I if I remember correctly, the dungeon is fairly short. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. I think I've commented on this before, but I actually like the loading screens in Oblivion quite a bit. I do actually kind of like them more than Skyrim, more than Fallout 4s or Skyrims. Um, both of which have, like, very similar loading screens. Wait. Uh, no, this is the right way. I almost went the wrong way there. 
Um, the, uh, we need to collect three items. Let me go and show you guys uh, in case you haven't done this quest before. Um, there are two items here, which I think you need to you need to steal one of them. Uh, you need to steal the Ring of Desiccation, I think. And you need to bribe someone with a sweet roll for the calming pants. Uh, no, hello. All right, let's shock this guy. Okay, I, I, I think it'd be more effective to use Flare, but I mean, whatever. Uh, I just, I, I feel like it's nice to mix it up with the spells I'm using. Because I've just been using Flare nonstop, at least in the past video. And also in, like, my general Oblivion gameplay, my background gameplay for a lot of my Elder Scrolls videos, is just me using Flare over, over and over again. People have been saying, that's pretty boring, Roshank. And I'm like, yeah, I agree, it's pretty boring. So, at least now I'm kind of mixing things up, even though my character is still level 2 and kind of crappy. Yeah, I need to do something about, about, like, this whole setup, like, of me having to record on Xbox right now. It's just kind of crappy overall. Um, I, know, I mean, right now, I sort of just wanted to bring you guys some LP videos, and I enjoy doing this. So this is just something to sort of hold you guys over until the summer, when hopefully I'll have more time to, you know, do, I guess, more high-quality videos, if that makes sense. And to do, you know, do, do like, you know, a full LP series um, with, uh, with mods and such. And you know what? What the heck? Uh, we'll make this a slightly longer video. I'll go ahead and finish off the dungeon this episode. Just because. Just because you guys are so awesome and I love you so much. Oh, by the way, I need to... I haven't put out a thank you video on this yet, which I'm shocked I haven't. Um, thank you guys so much for 10k subscribers. I am shocked that happened. If you would ask me... Uh, wait, are we... I think it's right down there. Um, but in all seriousness though, if you would ask me like... A year ago, like when I started out my channel, which was around a year ago. I think I think I posted my first... I made this account in October of last year. And I posted my first video in like January, February? Or something like that. So it basically, it's been a year. Um, if you asked me a year ago, Roshank, do you ever think you're going to hit 10,000 subscribers? I probably would have said no. Or no, I wouldn't necessarily have said no. But I, well, what I would have said is, if I ever do, it would take me... Oh, whoa. Okay. We have more Elytras, man? Oh my gosh, that's not great. That's kind of crappy. All right, well, pff. the enemies are getting really repetitive in here. Oh, well, that's a slightly non-repetitive enemy. Let's go and equip Snow Flare uh, and kill this thing. Um, but yeah, if you had asked me that a year ago, I would have said either no or if I ever do hit 10K, it would take like four or five years. But it's taking me a year. And I, like, 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 I was thinking about it and like, I swear, this is not me trying to suck up to you guys. I honestly do believe this. Like... The only reason why I've come this far, I feel like, is because I've had a really supportive fan base. I've had a very, a very engaged and very supportive fan base that, you know, like, comments all the time, that, you know, like, rates my videos and such. And, like, I feel like the only reason why I've come so far is because you guys have just been so awesome, like, supporting my channel. And I really do feel that, you know, like, objectively just looking at it, like, that's the reason why. I don't think it has very much to do with, like, the quality of my videos, to be honest. Because I'm not really doing anything different from when I first started. I am running low on health. Uh... I don't know, that, that's just how I view it. Alright. Oh my, that was horrible. Okay, alright, well we got it. Jeez, freaking fiasco. Um, I actually think this this is uh, this is the door right to the second room here. Yeah, it is, okay. Um, we're second area, this is second zone. Oh, we're pretty much already at the end. Okay, alright. That's nice. Um, I, rem I specifically remember this because I remember struggling with this for a really long time. What you need to do is you need to pick this thing up and then... Um, you need to light these two layers over here. You can't, you can't take it though. And the reason why you can't like literally take it is here. Let me show you. Um, it says the, the torch can be held by any, but owned by none. So you can't put it in your inventory, which, which, uh, which is what the owned by none refers to, but it can be held by anyone. So you can pick it up with the, with the grab button. So yeah. Yeah. It, it, if you don't know what to do in here, it can be a real struggle. Um, oh, I should say, I didn't even try to open this. If you don't light those, then, then it'll say, oh, th this thing is frozen shut and you can't open it. Anyways, let's go ahead and... It's still frozen shut. What? Oh my gosh. What the heck, man? The fires went out. While well, I was explaining, the fires went out. Okay. Alright, well, let's go ahead and... Oh my gosh, I probably shouldn't drop... The fires are lit, man. Oh, do I need to light... Like, oh, I need to light the fire up front, probably, huh? Is that why? I'm still struggling with this, even though I know what to do, man. Okay. No! I'm going to kill someone. I'm actually going to kill someone. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much. <sighs> all right. Well, let's go ahead and take that. Jeez. Okay. All right. Awesome. So we've completed the first leg of the coming storm quest, which is definitely the hardest. The, the, the other legs are actually really easy. Um, is there an easy exit here? I think there should be an easy exit, right? 
No, it doesn't look like there is. We'll exit back out through here. But yeah, the, the other legs are just, just involved, like, talking to people and, like, stealing a sweet roll and then also, like, stealing a, stealing a ring or something like that. I don't remember it being very difficult, so we'll go put that in the next episode. Uh, but yeah, let's go and get out of here, then I'll go ahead and, uh, ahead and end off the video. Back to that discussion from earlier, though. I mean, like, I have, I have, like, lately I, I, I've been getting a little bit more hate on my videos, but I think the only reason why is because more people are being exposed to my videos. So, I mean, obviously, when, I, when more people are exposed, there are going to be more people who disapprove, if that makes sense. Uh, but, like, with, with every with every comment that's, like, you know, hateful, I guess you could say, on my channel, if I get, like, like 30, like, really nice comments from people, I mean, like, oh, great video, Roshank, like, keep it up. Um, and that's, like, ultimately why I do YouTube. The reason why I do YouTube is because I'm blessed to have, like, a really awesome fan base in general. Um, and you guys are just awesome, uh, if you ask me. But anyways, guys, that is going to do it for this episode of the Oblivion Mini LP. As always, if you enjoyed, be sure to drop me a like down below and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already for more Oblivion content in the future. The comment question of the day, and this is going to seem really random, but next week you guys will see exactly why I'm asking this. Where do you think the Elder Scrolls 6 is going to be set? Which location do you think it's going to be set? Um, for me, as for where I'd like it to be set, Valenwood is probably Valenwood or Argonia. And also, Somerset Isles is up there too. So I'm just going to say those three. I'm not going to say what's exactly my number one, because that would spoil a, a video idea I have in the future. We should just kill this thing before I before I get upset and running away and such. Uh, oh my gosh. The amount of elytra that I fought recently has just been horrible. Uh, but as for what's most likely... I think Hammerfell is actually very likely, just because it's very doable. There are a lot of, like, like lore barriers for other places, and I think Elsewhere is also very likely. I think one of those two. I'd be, I'd be totally down with either of them, to be honest. I mean, every promise of Tamriel is really cool. So, ultimately, whatever whatever saying they choose, I think it's going to be cool. Um, but there are some I like more than others. Uh, but that's what I think. Uh, let me know what you guys think, and I will see you in my next video.